Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about fluoride toxicity and some of the hormonal effects of fluoride toxicity. So we know that fluoride, unfortunately, because of semiconduction, can block the electrical current that cells need to communicate along with DHA and, of course, vitamin B12 in our nervous system. So there's something called the myelin sheath on our nerve cells, and fluoride can actually block that signaling along that chemical pathway and that electrical pathway. So it's very important that we are really paying attention to fluoride toxicity and making sure that we are decreasing our exposure to fluoride in our diet, which is something, of course, that I discuss in other videos, how to do that. Now, fluoride does replace iodine. So on the periodic table, it's something that I showed in another video as well, that fluoride and iodine are in that same grouping. So we see fluorine here, chlorine, bromine, as well as iodine, meaning that in terms of chemical structure and in your outer electron shell, they are very similar. Now, because fluoride is higher up on that chart, it is lighter in weight and has more volatility, it's more reactive, and this is why in replacing iodine, this can really mess up our thyroid function. We know that our definitely our thyroid gland is reliant on having enough iodine, but in women, the brain breast tissue is reliant on iodine as well. So things like fibrocystic breast disease can be worsened by a fluoride toxicity issue as well as thyroid function can be hampered and hindered by having that fluoride toxicity. So making sure that again, finding all those places where we may have that exposure to fluoride and getting rid of those things from our daily lives is very important for our hormonal system. This can also translate into something called the pregnenolone steel syndrome because the fluoride can affect the renin and angiotensin system, which is important for kidney function and for being able to hold on to our water in our body. So often these people that have fluoride toxicity, you could be craving for a lot of salt foods, which often we sort of put together with adrenal fatigue, but this is part of that fluoride toxicity story as well. So craving those salty foods, you're drinking because you're thirsty all the time, and yet you're getting that salt and that loss of salt because that fluoride is now replacing that iodine and where we would normally have that iodine in our system. So to make things simple, the fluoride is toxic. It will definitely be an endocrine disruptor, meaning it will offset your entire endocrine system, mess up your hormones, and it's something that definitely you have to decrease your exposure to it and get that fluoride out of your body. And I show, share in another video exactly how to do that and how to detoxify fluoride from your body. So make sure you check that out. So I hope that you've got some questions and comments for me. Please do put it in the question and comment section below. Also share this video. I appreciate a big thumbs up and a like on this video as well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.